What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today you join me in Toronto in what's looking like a real cold day, but a sunny day. Cold, sunny day? I think the AMG's coming out, okay? So today what I wanna do is I wanna discuss a little bit about this love-hate relationship that I've been having with this AMG. Love the car. Um, there's a lot to love about an AMG, a lot, a lot to love about a C63, but there's things that are kind of weighing on me a little bit. Um, and I want to discuss those with you. Okay, so let's go. Let's warm up the tires Let's get into that C63 and let's have a little bit of fun. Have a little chat How you doing belly? How are you my little boy? Hi How are you little belly? How's things? Got the Christmas tree all set up condo living condo living. It's a bit tight. It's a bit tight in here We got to do it really chilly sort of Toronto afternoon out but tires are warm uh, sun is shining and uh, I think it's a great day for a little bit of content a little a little bit of a drive so in today's video I want to discuss my sort of 10 months of ownership with this car um, you know it's been an amazing experience this car is fucking unbelievable pardon my French this car is uh, is is amazing to own um, but there has been you know a, a lot behind the scenes that I that I'd love to sort of get across uh, in my ownership experience you know the good the, the not so good the pet peeves the kind of sun you know sort of annoyances that come along with the uh, with uh, with the, with owning the car if you were to pick one thing that you love most about it what would it be uh, well as you guys know this thing's got 500 horsepower twin turbo v8 I'm in race mode right now. I'm on the manual shifters. This is what I love most about it. Let's have a listen. <laughs> yeah, this thing's an absolute hooligan. That's the number one thing that I love about it. It's just the, the engine. So I realized that in saying that the engine is the is the favorite thing, that's the obvious thing that people love about this car. Um, the big things that I actually really enjoy is just the fit and finish of everything. Like if you take a look, I'm looking at a beautiful digital display, carbon fiber steering wheel. Um, this is just a really nice place to sort of be, right? It's it's a it's just a classy sort of car. You got your IWC watch here, carbon fiber all over the place. It's just gorgeous. Um, the other little thing that I kind of enjoy is that, you know, if I'm in crazy aggressive race mode right now, I've got all the modes just at my sort of disposal right here. Bang, 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 three little flips of the switch, and I'm back into just a regular Mercedes mode right now. And so that convenience, one, two, three, I'm back in a crazy mode if I wanna pass this person. The convenience of the modes and being able to change the characteristics of the car at the drop of a hat is um, is something that I really really enjoy about the car as well. Another cool little thing that I that I sort of you know that I enjoy about this car and the reason I bought this car is because of the styling. Um, and I know that you know I'm the owner and obviously I'm going to say you know I love the look of this car. You know I could have obviously bought a lot of different cars, right? I looked at the, an M4, I looked at an M3, I looked at the RS5. I like the M2, I know it's a different sort of class, but the, you know, the sportiness, the nimbleness of it. And I have to say, like, the, the styling of this car, you know, the, obviously the, the 63 engine has the bulging sort of, you know, wheel arches. It's, you know, it's got that nice, beautiful panorama, Panamericana, sort of the AMG specific grille. 
Um, I truly do love the styling of this uh, of this car, um, and that's one of the main reasons I bought it. Um, and I continue to enjoy it every day. It's one of those cars where, you know, you get out of your car and you're always looking back at it, always looking back on it, and, and giving it that little smile, kind of, you know, that little smirk, that little like it just gives me pleasure every time I stare at it. It's it's, you know, it, it packs a punch. It's got a big engine, but it also I think it just looks gorgeous. But I'm biased. All right, Dane. So you already told us what you love about the car. What are the things that you don't like about it? Okay, so first one is gonna annoy a lot of people because usually when I talk about money, everyone's like, well, you bought this car, you know, you shouldn't have bought it without being able to afford it. This is an expensive car. It's an expensive car to buy, one. It's an expensive car to maintain. So I obviously bought the car, but this is the first real kind of crazy sports car I've owned. The tires were the biggest thing that, that I'm realizing, especially driving in the city of Toronto, that are costly. It's, you know, for a Michelin super sport, cup, cup whatever, super sport tire, we're talking, you know, five, $600 a tire. I've gone through in my eight months of ownership, I've gone through five tires. Just from driving over potholes, driving over little screws or some of that. Like a month ago or two weeks ago was a staple that I drove through. So that's probably the biggest thing. I don't wanna say it's about money. It's just the, the constant upkeep, the constant like, oh, there, you know, the tire pressure's gone. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta adjust my work schedule. I gotta go over to the dealership. I gotta get it done. It's kind of a pain in the butt because of the low profile sort of tires. Um, that's probably the number one thing that's kind of just, just an annoyance. The other thing is that it's a 500 horsepower rear wheel drive car. So when there's a little bit of rain, when there's a little bit of snow on the tire, this this car, honestly, for anyone who's thinking about trying to buy this or wanting to buy it, it's not drivable. You know, if you're if you want to daily drive this car in in a in a climate like this where there's a little bit of snow and slick, don't do it. Go with a different car. Go with the new one. I know it's more expensive. You know, the hybrid system because it has Formatic. Um, or go with an, an M4 or just go with the C43. You're not gonna get the same emotion. It's a six cylinder, but it's at least livable. This thing has no formatic. It's all full of uh, rear wheel drive. And I've had some crazy experiences. As soon as snow came down, I was like, ah, you know, how bad could it possibly be? This thing just spins, 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 spins. You know, and I'm stuck in the middle of the road, people helping me, pushing me. It's just, it, it, it was in borderline embarrassing at times. So um, just, just, thinking about that and uh and and you know cost you know, putting that into your 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 basis for ownership uh, because that's one of the biggest thing, annoyances um of owning this car for me is it's just it's not a practical car it's an amazing car in the summer and spring but in the winter it's just like it, you need another vehicle hi guys welcome to my second home my so station uh, Part of ownership of this car is that I spend an awful lot of time here. Every second, third day, I'm here, and I'm not just here buying. Because I own this car, I'm forced to go there, and that comes with a hefty fee. Let's take a look. All right, so a really, really cool trick when you get to a pump and it's one of those where you have to hold it, right? You can take your card, and in this case, it's a nice platinum card, and you stick it in there and it serves that purpose. And you don't have to worry, once the tank fills, it'll stop on its own. So you won't come back to, to, your, to your car and see 93 octane just oozing out the, the, out of the car into the parking lot. <laughs> All right, so damage is done. Read them and weep. But we got a full tank, we got more fun, let's go, more fun, let's go. See, again, this is like, between you and I, it's like the best and the worst part of the car. It's like what it's capable of, but what it's not capable of when you put your foot down. Like it's, it, the rear wheel drive is like, I've never taken traction control off this car either. Like I've never taken it off. I don't, I don't know what this what this car, ass end wise, can do when, when you're under power and stuff yeah. like that. Like, I'm just too scared of it, you know, in city driving. So 
funny little thing about this car, and it, I think it applies to any young guy who's driving a fast sports car quickly, is that, and everyone that's subscribed to this channel, or anyone that watches this video that has a fancy, like a fast sports car, not fancy, but a fast sports car, can relate to this, you're always looking in your mirrors. Anytime you're putting your foot down, I'm always, I feel like I'm always looking here and there for cops. Like I'm always like on guard. I'm like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Just searching for police all the time. That must say a lot about the kind of driver I am, but let's see what we, let's see what we can do to uh Coming over to Tesla. Peace out. <laughs> Damn. All right, Dane. So there are a lot of pros and cons videos out there on the C63, but what are the things that only a true owner, after spending some time with the car, will notice about the C63? Okay, so one of the big things is just just knowing your tires that you have fitted for the car and how they perform and how they help or you know don't help your C63. So the biggest advice I can give you is when you want to drive this car really really stupidly, it's a rear wheel drive 500 horsepower car. So make sure you're getting sufficient heat into the tires. A lot of people come out and they you know you get in this car you start it up you're like whoa and it makes you it makes you want to drive irresponsibly right off the bat. I would say get the get some heat into the tires, you know, whether that takes, you know, 5-10 minutes of driving in the comfort mode, keep the revs low, and once you get a little bit of heat, the car is so different, right? The car doesn't respond to driving it fast when it's cold, when when the engine's cold, when the tires are cold. It spins, it's you know, that you're you're not you're putting a lot of stress on the transmission. This car needs to be driven. So my advice to you guys is drive it in comfort, keep the revs down. You can have exhaust open, but keep the revs down for 10, 15 minutes. Drive responsibly, keep it down, then flip it over. Then you can really release, you can really you know, ma maximize your, your driving performance and you're giving the car what it needs. It needs that little, little bit of, of time to kind of like get situated, get warm, Get, get ready to sort of, you know, to, to do what it's capable of doing. And I think a lot of people misconstrue the fact that you can jump into this car, flip it in a race mode and, and go right off the bat. That's that's not giving your car what it needs, right? It needs a little bit of time to kind of heat up, engine, oil, and mostly tires, right? If this was a formatic car, you could jump into this car and bang, you could be, you could be doing zero to 60s right off the bat. It wouldn't be good for your engine, but you could do it. This car doesn't respond well to that right off the bat so my advice to you comfort mode a little bit take it easy warm up your tires you've got all your your displays here engine everything once everything is good everything's showing white it's not blue anymore that tells you that you're good to go and you can flip it over and, and drive uh, irresponsibly <laughs> all right Dane so what are your future plans for the C63 that's actually a really really good question so I bought the the car for the channel and so my efforts here are just to try and vlog as much as possible, try and get as much content out, um, and like try and get as much educational, interactive com uh, content that you guys would enjoy. So the things that I want to do, the things that I still have left to do, would be modifications, putting a, a gnarly exhaust on it, um, you know, maybe wrapping it in Magno Gray kind of thing, like really opening this car up. The one thing I noticed about this car is that from stock, it's like it has a lot more potential. There's a lot more you could do with it, right? My dad has an M4 Comp, and the thing is like, it's got a it's got a boot mod on it, it's got an exhaust, it makes a lot more horsepower. I kind of want to really give my viewers, give you guys, you know, the, the potential of what it can do. Um, so that's the big thing. Um, and I'd like to take it to the racetrack. I'd like to do a few little, few little things content-wise that would, uh, that would appease sort of everyone, right? And really in, enjoy all facets of the car before I sell it. Um, what else? Um, you know, I'd like to take it to the to the racetrack. Um, I know it's you know it's a it's a fancy Mercedes Benz, but I think AMGs are at home on the racetrack. Um, and so getting a helmet, putting this thing in a race mode, and driving it to its full potential is something that I want to do before I sell this car. So. That's definitely a plan. Um, what racetrack I'm gonna take it to, when I'm gonna do that, probably next summer. Um, gotta find a good racetrack. Um, that's in the plans for sure. Um, another little thing, and I don't know if, I'm, if I have the finances to this or the time, is I would love to take this to 
the Autobahn. I would love to ship it, put it to, to Germany, get on the Autobahn and see. Because this is, it's a German missile. It's it's meant to do a straight shot, you know, and, and really max max out your, your um, you know, your, your speed. So I would love to do that as well. Um, I've got a lot of fun sort of ideas, but whether that turns into an actual sort of real sort of thing, who knows. Um, plans plans for the future definitely want to keep the car i think this is the greatest car for for this price point it's, it's just so much fun um, and especially now looking at the new c63 and how they've kind of dumbed it down it's overpriced it's heavy it's you know got a big battery in it, it just doesn't really appeal to me this is this is such a hooligan car it's such a fun car uh, so i plan to keep it it would be nice if it appreciated and, not to make money on it, but to, so I don't take a complete crazy loss on the value of the car, that would be nice. But, you know, when you buy a car like this, this is not really in your, I mean, you don't, you don't buy a car looking really to make money on it. So I'm not super worried about that. I would just like to not completely lose a ton of cash on it. All right, thanks a lot, you guys, for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe, share, comment, all that fun jazz. I'm trying my best to get to 3,000 subscribers. Been working really, really hard on it, pumping out the content, so please help me out. If you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. Really, really appreciate it. Um, happy holidays, happy new year, happy Christmas to all of you, all my family who are watching. I uh, love you all. I really, really appreciate the support. i got a lot of new videos coming in the next little while working on them right now um, hope to see you guys following and uh, see you in the next one very soon all right take it easy